Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Let's Play The Walking Dead. This, I believe, will be the final part of episode one, because somebody told me I have, like, maybe ten minutes after this to, uh, to finish the game. So, yeah. But before we do that, let's, uh, let's, let's... Woman! So, I guess I can't find the batteries. Well, that sucks. Somebody told me that the batteries are inside and that I can find them. But it looks like the time is over for that. I could reload, but that would kind of cheapen the whole, you know, you live by your consequences aspect of the game. So, I'm sorry to all of those who wanted to see what the radio did, but I don't think it's something that important. Alright, alright, let's, uh, let's see what happens. Maybe we can heal the old bugger. Wait, maybe now I can, maybe now I can go out again. Nope, nope. Sorry, once again, but, you know, that's what happened. Oh, no. Oh, shit. shit. We gotta hurry. That's gonna attract every single brain sucker in the area, isn't it? Oh boy. <laughs> this ain't good. <laughs> hey, wake up! We've got brains to eat! It is never a situation you want to be in. You barricade. Oh, I can run. We don't make it through this. You should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. No, 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 no. Um, can I press something? Oh no. Are you sure? Shoot. Good. Good. Okay. Can you look for something to stick in between the hands? Something real strong, okay? Okay. No. No you. You're bad. Bad zombies. Did you find anything? The stick. The window is Go. Oh, you're leaving me alone. No. No! I yeah, I knew it. I knew it was gonna come in handy. Stick it! I can't see where I can stick it! Okay, flee. What? No, 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 no. Shit. Oh, fuck. No, don't do this. Not again! Um, who do I choose? Doug or Carly? Fuck! Um... Clementine? Um, who's left? I'm sorry! I'm sorry, Doug! Ah, oh, why did I choose Car- Ah! Oh. Come on, we can save Doug! No! Oh shit, just run, just run, he's dead. Why did I... <sighs> oh no you don't! Oh no you don't! 
you leave Clementine alone? I've lost enough people. Come on. Grab her and run! What? No! What? You... Why would you do that? Oh! I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Come on! Uh, I'm trying. I don't know where to click. Okay, there we go. Especially a good friend. Seriously, that dude, I hope he dies. What the fuck? Why didn't he push me away? I saved his life. Was did he I don't know. Ah, dog. Fuck's sake. Did I save Carly because she was a chick? I don't think so. That's not why I saved her. Uh, I got to know her more than I got to know Doug, I guess. Uh, that was a bias. Both of them deserve to live. None of them deserve to die. Uh, at least we got the one with the gun? <laughs> Fuck. The old fart tried to kill me. I'm gonna... Son of a bitch, I hope he gets killed. What's going on over there? You guys okay? Hey, Kenny. Hey, Glenn. Oh, Glenn. Sorry! I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Do you want to die? I don't know, it doesn't seem like a smart idea. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. If they go from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah. I Would you get the fuck over it? Right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. No, not giving up implies that you have a chance. When you're bitten and about to turn into a zombie, you don't. You're going to die. Do you want to die by becoming a zombie or do you want to die by shooting yourself in the head? There's no giving up involved. Either way, you're going to end up zombie chow. That sounds horrible, I know, but it's not giving up going out. Uh... You know, hey, kicking. Kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. Ken saved my life. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. You said you wanted kids once. Uh, I did, yeah. Well, she's not your daughter, so you can't treat her like she is. Yeah. I'm she's not. my daughter, too. But you can take care of her. Hell, maybe better than a father even could. Thanks, Kitty. I got your back, pal. I feel bad for Doug. He was a good guy. I mean, this makes me think, what if he came with us on the mission instead of Carly? Would I have saved Doug? Probably, because I would have gotten to know him better. Uh. Let's see if Clementine's... Let's talk to Carly. I'm sure she's fucked up too in the head. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know, it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. 
That was a shitty uh, situation. Wait, Lee. Yes. What is it? Thank you. How did you oh. choose? Oh shit. We both needed you. You picked me. Ah, I didn't. I thought you needed the help. I was going to help you both. I, I was gonna try. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Kylie. <laughs> it's like, this game can't go on a session without making me feel like a total piece of shit. I hate you. I hate you. And for the same reason, I love you. Clem. Poor Clem. Duck, shut up. Get away from her. You. Super Dinosaur was toast, but you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. Aw. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Ah. <sighs> I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. It makes sense. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. We'll try and Please, fix it. Come here for a second. You suck a mm. dick. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine. Oh, for fuck's sake, sake, Duck. What do you want? Like my daughter? Uh... Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. I don't even like her. You know She's me? a total bitch. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you... You watch your ass. I'm not gonna be sorry if you die, when you die. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Oh god, will you people not? <laughs> Give me five seconds to myself. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. I'm two men. I'm lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. What's going on? This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. Are you so I sure agree with that plan. if they're the military? Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Maybe they're bandits! Oh shit. Oh damn, that's one hell of an awesome cliffhanger ending. Next time on the Ooh, yes, show me. Or show us rather. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Connie. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Oh, shit. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the fans. What? I didn't fuck with anybody! I have a strict no fucking policy in this game. Oh no, am I going to have to kill somebody? 
I'm gonna have to kill somebody bitten, aren't I? Oh my god, this game hates me! Shit, son! Lie to Herschel, you on 37. I didn't lie! I thought it was the truth! I didn't know what was happening at the time. Who would you save, Duck or Sean? Wow, I'm in the minority of saving uh, Duck? Okay. Loyalty, side with Kenny? You and 56% of players side with Larry. Yeah. Gave Irene the gun? Wow, the minority of players gave her the gun? I guess that was a difficult question for many people. Doug or Carly? Wow, nobody likes Doug! <laughs> I don't know, is it because Carly's like the female and people are like, I have to save her because she's weak or people think she's weak, whatever, but she's obviously not. I mean, I'm not saying that's the truth, but there's this like stereotype that the guy has to protect the girl. But, I mean, she can protect herself better than all of us combined because she has a freaking gun. So she doesn't really need anyone to bullshit White Knight for her. That's not why I saved her. I think I saved her because she I, I knew her character more than Doug. She went out with, with us on a mission. Uh, we I talked to her more. Doug was kind of like the gatekeeper. That's all he did. Uh, and he was kind of stupid with yelling at me across the, the, the street when the zombies were there. Carly, I, I like her. I guess I liked her more, but that doesn't that doesn't justify killing Doug, you know? It's just it's just a crappy situation to be in and I had to pick one. But it seems that I'm playing actually fifty percent. Like two of my choices were in the minority and two of my choices were in the majority. So I mean I guess I'm kind of average compared to other people that but this is an awesome statistics uh, page I'm really enjoying this and I'm really enjoying this game as well <sighs> what, what, what's next well nothing's next it sucks that I didn't find the uh, radio batteries but I mean those are the consequences of my actions and that's what happened I'm not gonna go back and redo it because that would kind of undermine the whole thing so Episode 2 comes out in a few days, I believe on the 26th. Um, it depends on, really, if it has a midnight launch, I might do it. But otherwise, I might not be able to do it because I have a test on the 27th. And I don't know, I don't know. I, I'm really interested to see what happens. I want to finish episode 2 before I leave to my homeland. Anyway, for the summer vacation, so I will do episode 2 as soon as possible. You be sure about that, I'm really hyped to see what's going to happen. So I hope you've liked uh, part 1 of this Let's Play. Leave your commentary, feedback, tell me what, what, to, what, what you were expecting, tell me did you like the way I played, did you not like the way I played, how I should improve, how, what I should do. Um, I kept editing to a minimum in this game because honestly it would kind of ruin the atmosphere. I just did the editing between sections where I was stuck. No text, well very minimal text and scenes after the first session because honestly this game is built around atmosphere and I don't want to ruin it with like herp, herp, funny puns in text format. But in talking format I always make puns, I can't help it. So yeah, thank you a lot guys for watching this and thank you a lot for almost a thousand subscribers. It's, it's, it's been crazy. I love you all. So, take care guys and girls. When I say guys, I mean everyone. So don't, don't, don't call feminist, feminists on my ass. So take care guys. See you next time. Bye-bye. Surely, I turn my head towards the sky.